Studnik Aquatics here. I have been asked to do a humidor tour by quite a few people if you haven't seen this. Um, I built it about a year and a half ago. It is a closet conversion and it is part of my, my little smoking lounge that I put in. It's not, not a real big room but it works very well for the purpose and, and I really do enjoy it. And I, like I said before, I have had quite a few requests for a tour of my walk-in humidor. So I have more than one thing going on in here. I have singles, and I'm not going to be going through those today. I have three trays. I get this thing to focus in. I have three trays of singles. I have some there, there, and up top. And I'm not going to do go through them. That's going to take a while. I might have to do that at a later date. And I basically have three shelves in here. There is an upper shelf up top and then a bundle rack. And I'm not going to worry about the bundle rack, but um, I guess we'll just start right here on this end. And the first thing I have here, these are man, these are by Man of War. And this is the War Horse. Um, you know, it's not, not a real expensive cigar. They're huge, though. I mean, you have to have some time on your hands if you're going to smoke one of these. And they are pretty good. So I do enjoy them. Uh, this here is a Padron. This is the, um, I believe this is, this is a sample pack and you get a Padron 1964 and then you also get four other Padrones and I don't remember what it does cost but a person could look it up. It's a good way to get your hand on some Padrones if you don't want to, you know, if you want to try something before you dive into purchasing a box from them. And these here I really do enjoy. These are the Oliva Connecticut Reserves, and these are a small one. This is a Petite Corona, and I have these in the mornings. They're, they're great with a cup of coffee in the morning, like on weekends or something. I actually have another box of these ordered in a torpedo for larger size, but I, I tend to have a lot of full-bodied cigars in my humidor and medium to fulls, and it's nice to have some that are mild to medium so you can have them in the morning. So I really do enjoy those. And when I do run out, I'll probably buy another box because I do enjoy those. And these here are the Cohiba, and these are the Piero Dominicanas. Um, I believe there's like 25 in here, and these are Robustos. Very good cigar. If you haven't had a chance to have one of these, I highly recommend them. I do like them. I really like the dark cigars. I like the Maduros. I like oily wrappers, and, and I, I really like the flavor of these. It is unique. And here's one that I, I very much enjoy, and a lot of people really like this cigar. And this is the CAO Brasilia. They make a number of the CAO. They make an Americana. They make a Nicaragua. Um, there's quite a few. Italia, I think. But the Brasilia seems to go over the best. And I'm not a real big fan of the large ring gauge cigars, but but this is good. I, I do like those cigars. And these here are the are Padrones and these are the Lonsdale Maduros. I apologize for the lighting in here, um, but these are the Lonsdale Maduro. I prefer a Lonsdale or a Corona or a Double Corona or something. I like the, I think the balance of filler and wrapper is better on a thinner cigar than it is on a, on a thick one. But that's just personal opinion. And those are very good, of course. And these here are the Macanoodle Maduros. Um, these are the Prince Phillips. They're a large cigar. Uh, they're not even a full-bodied cigar. I believe these are like a medium-bodied cigar. So they're, they're unique and they're, they're good. Um, next one I have here are the Rocky Patel Vintage Series 1992s. And these are these are the tubos ones. They come in the tubes, and it, it takes a while to smoke one. I believe it's a Churchill, something like that. I, I do like it. It is quality, and I do enjoy that cigar there. So then moving down to the next row here, I pick these up on Cigar Bid, and I will have to admit I really like the box. And what these are, these are by Perdomo, and these are the Hump Habano Sun Grown and these are bourbon barrel aged cigars and you get six bourbon barrel aged cigars and they're each in their own little box i do like bourbons i like cigars and so i thought i'd give these a try i haven't tried it yet but i will be and these are very good i, I very much enjoy the olivas these are the series v uh, milanos and i forget exactly what size these are this might be a petite corona or something but it's a really nice size in the evening if you just want to have a short smoke and you don't want to be there for an hour and a half you know or an hour and 45 minutes smoking a cigar but these are very very good if you know have not had this cigar i would highly recommend giving it a try and these here are also the olivas but these are not the Milanios. these are just the series v's and these are a much larger size than the other ones are um you get 10 of them in a box 
very good. They're just an amazing, amazing smoke. I picked these up on Cigar Bed. They're supposed to be good. I have not tried them yet. These are the Ramon Bioso, and these are the Blanco 2005 Reservas. And they come highly recommended, and I, I got them at a really good price. So I'm hoping that they're good. I try not to buy a box of cigars unless I've already tried, you know, two or three of them to make sure I it is something they do enjoy. But the price was good on these, and so I went ahead and bought them. Um, I do enjoy punch cigars. I've smoked them for years and years and years, and they're just something about a punch cigar that I really do enjoy. These are the these are the. Uh, the London clubs and they're a smaller one once again it's a good one for you know uh, on a lunch break or something like that or you can have one of these in the morning or at noon and as I said these here there's a number of different cigars in here here's an Ave Maria Reconquista there's there's a Romeo I mean there's a lot of cigars in here in December I did go through this box and I've added a few more in there but you can run back and look at that video these here are by Man of War and these are the pure authenticos and this is supposed to be the cigar that AJ Fernandez personally smoked for years and then he finally released it to the public this is a stout little cigar these are very good I really enjoy these if you have not tried this cigar I would suggest trying it because I will always have a box of these in my humidor it is, but if you're a new to the cigar hobby, I don't think I'd smoke one of those because they're pretty stout. And this here are the Le Aurora barrel aged. They're not a very expensive cigar, but they are aged in um, in bourbon barrels. So I really enjoy enjoy those. And you know they're they're a little different. Uh, the barrel aged cigars are a little bit different. I believe those are rum. I forget if they're bourbon or rum. I think they're rum. Either way, they're barrel aged. Um, a lot of people really don't like Gurkha cigars. And I get a lot of comments on that, but but when you put out as many cigars as they do, sooner or later you're going to have something that's good. That's just all there is to it. Not everything they make can be bad. You should judge each cigar on its own. Don't judge them all just based on price. And this is the Gurkha Governor's Blend. They're not a terribly expensive cigar, but I really enjoy the flavor. Their construction is, is amazing. They always burn well, and I do enjoy them. So... I do think that for your money, Sancho Panzas are a really good buy, and these are the Double Maduros. And these are the Sancho Panza Double Maduro. I appreciate a Maduro cigar, and I really appreciate those right there. Um, this one here, get down a little lower so we can see what we're doing. These are by Le Flor Dominica, and this is their chisel sample pack, and they have a number of different ones in here. I've already smoked one of them. Um, this is the Colorado. And then the next one they have in here by LFD is the Cameroon. And I think there's a double Lajero. This is the double Lajero. And the Lajero are the, are the leaves on top of the plant. Or they're the ones that are the spiciest, if you will. And then I believe this is just the straight. This is the double Lajero. So anyway, this is a double Lajero. This is a double Lajero Maduro. So anyway, those are by LFD. Um, these here are Macanudo Inspirado Whites. I enjoy those with a cup of coffee in the morning. I like having some morning cigars around. They're very creamy. They're very good. And another thing to keep in mind, I smoke two to three cigars a day. So I need to have some cigars around that are not terribly expensive so that I can, you know, I can afford to, to, to smoke the cigars that I do. And that's what I do with a lot of them on the top of that shelf, which will show last. I just opened this box of cigars up yesterday. I just picked these up. These are Padron 1964 Anniversary Series. And the size on these, these are the Coronas. And there's 25 of them in there. I have not had an opportunity to smoke one yet. I have had this particular cigar before twice. It is an amazing cigar. So I'm really looking forward to having that. And this here is the Sancho Panza. This is their standard one. It has been rated very well and they're not very expensive and I do enjoy them. Um, these are the Partigas Black Label. I have had these before. I've never opened any of the tubes. I'm, I like to age cigars and we're letting those age. So that's what I have for boxes. Like I said, I do have quite a few singles here. I might, you know, kick a video out at some point on that. And up in here, I have a number of different ones and all these have cigars in them. This one here is Delirium by Jay Fuego. Uh, we have Hudson Bay Red Skies. I believe that, that might be a Gurkha cigar. These here are an inexpensive one. These are ones I like to smoke in my yard uh, when I'm working on yard work and doing stuff. It is by Victor Sinclair and they are the Tusker. What else have I got? Oh, these are good. I like these. 
these are the Victor Sinclair Bohemians, and I am of Bohemian descent, and so I like to have these. They're a 6x60, they're a large cigar. This was supposed to be one of the first companies that came out with the large ring gauge cigars. And so I really enjoy those. I have these little Nat Shermans. I use these whenever I go to a function. I throw them in my pocket. They're good. Quick, good, quick smoke. What else we got up there? We have some sweet tips. Dulce Vita sweet tips. Uh, that's an infused cigar. They're sweetened. We have some coffee infused ones from Thompson's. They're part of the Explorer line. Uh, what else? We have Independencia 1898s. Eh, they're they're okay. Not the greatest thing in the world. And then this one here are the Belmondos put out by Thompson. So, so those up there are some of the some of the less expensive ones that I do have around. I do I do smoke them, especially when I'm working in my yard, or if I'm, you know, just just messing around. And I do enjoy smoking them once in a while, as well as down there. There's Thompson's Rum Twist. I would take two of those to work with me every day and smoke them in the shop. So, anyway. Those are what I have in my walk-in humidor. I've, I've enjoyed this thing. It, is, it has been a wonderful, wonderful experience building this thing. And I'm letting a lot of these cigars age. I really do enjoy my little cigar lounge. And I enjoy my cigars. I hope that tour made sense. Hope I didn't go too fast. And as always, keep smoking cigars.